back to another video. Today, I have a speed test for you guys. We will be comparing the iPhone SE first generation to the iPhone SE second generation. We're just gonna quickly open up some app, compare some speeds. It's gonna be a real quick video. Just wanna show it off. This is actually the third video I'm recording today, I'm trying to maximize it before I go back to school for the summer semester. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start off with a power up. Let's start first with the calendar. Three, two, one. That looked very similar. I could not tell who won there. All right, FaceTime, boom. Again, very similar. Um, stocks, faster on the second SC. Go into settings. Faster, well, they look pretty similar. You guys are gonna have to tell me that one because I wasn't paying too much attention. Okay, App Store. Looks like, yeah, 100%. SE 2020. News? Definitely this one. Uh, we'll go Twitter next. Both are still really smooth as well. We'll go eBay. Definitely the SE 2020. ESPN. Again. 2020 not by a bunch though i think as we're getting more you know into the ram this one might do a little bit better but we'll keep going let's go subway surfers easily this one PUBG. as you can see this one is still loading but this one loaded up Jetpack Joyride. But this one was clearly faster. Snapchat. Seemed like the SE2020 was also faster. Uh, BR. Okay. This was slightly faster. Amazon. Yep, faster on the 2020. We'll run a speed test, but as you can see, there is a stark difference of Wi-Fi speeds on, we'll run a Geekbench score. So get into Geekbench, three, two, one. We'll see how quickly. Obviously the A13 should blow by this. Okay, iPhone SE clearly won in speed in that, and you'll see it will clearly win in the scores as well, but we all know this. Let's speed the rest of this up for you guys. Okay, iPhone SE finally gets there. We are gonna go in the RAM next and just see if it was able to hold everything it could. Let's start from the back. Here we got calendar. FaceTime, stocks, looked like this had to reload. This might have just quickly, but I think it was still there. Settings, I think both were there. Didn't really see a reload. App Store, this is definitely reloading. I think this one reloaded too, actually. It was just really quick. A13 Bionic so quick that maybe I couldn't even tell if it reloaded. Twitter, definitely both reloaded. eBay. Reload here, stayed in the RAM there. Uh, ESPN on here, stayed in, here it reloaded. Subway Surfers, reload here, resume here. So, stayed in here, did not there. PUBG, I couldn't be logged in at the same time, but it looks like it stayed in in both. Yeah, wow, that's actually surprising. Maybe that's what is causing all these reloads on the SE. Uh, yeah, both stayed in. Nice, try to Snapchat. Stayed in on both. And BR. Overall, pretty good. The SE2020 
Definitely winning in the Ram. Here's just a quick analysis for you guys. SC2020 wins quite easily. Um, there were only a few ties and only one win in the boot up test. In the Ram test, the SC2020 won quite easily, but it also had its fair share of reloads. Either way, it's a very quick phone. The A13 Bionic is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I do want to include that for the scoring, I did not include ties from the Ram test, but I did from the app opening test. If you have better suggestions on how I should do these speed tests later on, let me know. Took a lot of that battery. Thanks for watching and peace.